Filling out a job safety analysis has been adopted by OSHA as a best practice for safe work procedures. The JSA is a very effective means of helping reduce incidents, accidents, and injuries. In this video we will give a brief description of what's involved as well as an example of how one is done. All right, we had uh, this morning we were doing our job safety analysis, holding a tailboard discussion. Our crew has, has a new job they had to plan out. Planning is an essential part of our work. And uh, we go out on the job site, we need to look over our job site conditions and assess any hazards that we're going to encounter uh, through our course of work. And once they do that, they need to, of course, get the crew together and uh, discuss all of that. Now, part, part of a uh, job safety analysis is more than just discussing hazards. We're going to look at, uh, look at the scope of the work, what actually is going on with the work, make sure we know everyone understands work procedures. And uh, we also assign specific duties. That way every crew member knows exactly what they have to do for the day. Now some of the hazards we encounter could be environmental. We see traffic, uh, pedestrians, uh, uh, could be weather conditions. Uh, like they mentioned in, in, our, in our discussion this morning, it rained the night before. So we have wet conditions on the ground, we had mud in the ditches. Uh, if you're handling, a lot of our equipment's heavy. We handling, we have to worry about, uh, about lifting, have properly rigging our equipment and uh, we're setting poles, you know, getting caught or pinched or uh, between or under this, this equipment. So there's a lot, of, a lot of factors considered. There's also in this part, the electrical work we deal with. And uh, they did mention going through lockout tag out procedures, which before we start work on the line, we have to report in and make sure the line have a clearance to work on the line so we can do it safely. And uh, there's, there's quite a bit goes into this and so this is an essential part of working and planning and I think every crew needs to uh, have some good training in this area to make sure we do it properly. All right guys, walked over the job. Today we're gonna set 20 foot service poles over there, right here behind us in between those two. We're going to hang transformers and hang drops to each service pole. Uh, procedure today We'll hang five transformers starting right here on this pole. Second one down and going all the way to the angle right there. Any different KVAs? Uh, the three first one, that pole, this pole, and this pole will be 15 KVA. The number six pole and number seven pole will be 25 KVA. Um, work procedure, first thing we'll do is I'll get, I guess, Chris, Brandon, you two, Get the truck, hook up the trailer, get three 20-foot poles. Blake and I, and I guess Kenneth, will go get tools and materials. After y'all are done getting all the poles, just pull over there and we'll load up all the tools and material. Uh, hazards, Let's see. One, it rained, looks like it rained last night, so be careful where we drive. Try not to, try to stay out of the ditch. Um, slipping, obviously. Um, gonna be handling some pretty heavy transformers. Don't let them fall on you. All right, some precautions. Obviously, inspect all your gear. Yeah. Climbing gear, hard hats. Watch where you drive. Always have a spotter out have here. A spotter. Yeah. Have a spotter. There's a lot of stuff you can back into. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all the PPE, hard hat, hard safety hat. glasses, uh, gloves, gloves, climbing boots. Climbing boots. All right, if a, if a crew leader is not present, all work stops. You all know that. Yes, sir. Uh, we did discuss emergency procedures. Yes. Hazards were discussed, all crew members. You understand the hazards today? Yes, sir. All crew members understand how to avoid or eliminate hazards and use required PPE. Have a spotter, check over all your gear. All crew members understand their job assignments. Yes, sir. Poles, tools, material. Can the work be performed de-energized? Today it will be. All safety equipment inspected, including rubber gloves, hot sticks, and grounds. We'll get, we'll inspect what we haven't already inspected. 
One call is made and locates completed before digging. Yes. It's already been done. It's already done. Lock, tag out, lock out completed online. Yeah. All of y'all to sign. Yeah. Hopefully we can get this done today. Let's try to.